No one gets out here alive. Okay, my beautiful people. I will leave Gdynia and I will go to a castle. An abandoned castle, not so far from here. It is in a town called La Prise. La Prise. I will name it uh, right here somewhere. <laughs> so you get the correct name. Okay. Let the adventure continue. Should get some fuel on the way as well. <laughs> I'm a bit lost here. I'm not dropping gloves all over. Oh, dropping all the things. No, I don't know. I was following Google Maps and I was listening to music and I guess I just lost track of the map and everything. I went into my little dreamy mode. So I think I will go around here, turn around over there and uh, go back or there's a road going like this. Follow that one. But I think I will do that. I'm driving through a lot of small cute villages in this road <laughs> but the rain is here so I need to suit the stuff and get some rain clothes cells on because oh, we got some now I, I, I'm waiting because it's, it's dripping a little bit not too much so I, I will wait for five minutes and see I have, uh, let's see, it's like nine minutes left. Oh, I'm very close. I think I need to park before the, the castle and then walk a couple of hundred meters to get there. We'll see. I hope it is pretty empty there and that I can fly my drone. That would be great. Yep. Let's see. I'm at the castle right now and it was a Polish artist who who built this grand estate it was to be supposed to be a studio or something like that and he wanted to make it super luxurious with swimming pools ballrooms and a lot more so let's see So there should be 12 towers here representing the 12 apostles as well. So I will take the drone and show you how it looks like. <laughs> Maybe. 
be a swimming pool area. Just go around and imagine yourself like what would D be? Maybe this was the ballroom or the swimming room area. <laughs> I'm looking through it as well. The details there. Or maybe this was a church. Oops. No one gets out here alive. I would really like to get out there alive. Hmm. What is this though? Just a little place to hang out. Maybe do the prayer. <laughs> Impressive. So it was 1979 they started to build this building, this massive studio, or grand estate, or <laughs> the place this artist was supposed to use it for. And here, you can go on the ground. Can I? Oof. Yeah, I love to go to abandoned places. I think it's really cool with all the history behind this, even though this didn't get finished, but at least what the plans was. I really felt like sleeping out in the nature but here in Poland it's not allowed with wild camping and I tried to find some uh, camping spots like an actual camping where I can stay but a lot of them are closed uh, so no camping for tonight I booked myself in a hostel in a tiny village so yeah and it's on the first floor that's great because yesterday I was on the fourth floor, so I had to walk a lot, there was no elevator, so I had to walk a lot with my bags and stuff. So I think that would be good for tonight. Oh, this road! <laughs> a tunnel of trees! <laughs> Jeez, I love this road! <laughs> I'm not sure what I will make myself for dinner tonight. I just had some uh, lunch slash breakfast, some sandwich with the cheese and salami and stuff. It's really good, but for tonight, hmm, maybe some lentils. Ah, we will see.
I finally reached the hostel. So, oh nice. I will go to the supermarket and get myself some groceries to cook myself a lovely meal for dinner. And then explore a little bit around here, I guess. Chat with some people. I'm living with a Ukrainian guy, so I will chat with him a little bit. So, thank you so much for joining my adventure from Sweden to Nepal. Like it and share it and subscribe and join my Patreon family as well. You have more behind the scenes and exclusive material there. Take care and I see you soon.